uh, region. Yes, thank you very much, first of all, um, Apri and um, EPC for inviting to this um, meeting. Uh, I think that, um, uh, yes, I agree with the idea that actually for EU, uh, the region is a neighboring region and uh, the obviously EU is interested to expand its over values, to expand the stability, security, justice, prosperity towards uh, our region too, as far as uh, now, otherwise you will not itself feel uh, confident and um, stable if, if, uh, if the surrounding regions are in uh, in, in this type of uh, the state. So, but uh, I think that the Ukrainian war especially changed a little bit this uh, uh, meaning and uh, uh, the region has become uh, important, uh, more important than before for you. Uh, there are several things that we can uh, uh, mention as, as a factors that increase the importance of the region. One uh, should be, of course, uh, uh, the uh, economic. Uh, so this is energy routes uh, and alternative energy supply possibilities, for, especially from Azerbaijan, and uh, also looking to Central Asia with more uh, more interest now than it was before. Before the Russia was the main supplier of uh, uh, hydrocarbons to to uh, EU uh, member states. Uh, now I think very important has become this uh, route. Uh, uh, and uh, to my view, uh, this will, uh, the interest in this regard will be rising. So you as, a, as an economic power, though, of course, is, is now more interested in, in uh, projecting its, uh, um, its interests in this region in this regard. Now, then, of course, EU remains as a normative power uh, in the, and as a normative actor in this region and uh, uh, the importance of uh, uh, supporting democracy in the region is rising, especially after this war in Ukraine that is uh, uh, purely, purely result of the lack of democracy in Russia, which caused this uh, kind of uh, decisions from Russian government to start the war. and. Uh, uh, of course, uh, the uh, uh, support of democracy in the region has become even more important now uh, in order to keep the peace and to uh, not to have emerged a new new region with, with uh, security threats, uh, security threats. And uh, here I think EU has increased, of course, its interest uh, to support the countries, uh, and especially Georgia, which has become now uh, a, a country with European perspective, uh, practically the can potential candidate country. So EU is ready now to provide the military support also, not military support in sense of uh, military is deployed in Georgia, military deployed in Georgia, but uh, support, financial support uh, uh, to, to, the to the defense sector. And this already happened uh, around 30 million was this vast to Georgian government to, to strengthen the uh, defense sector. And this uh, you know, will continue. It's not about only participation in CSDP meetings and uh, trying to engage in uh, uh, common, um, uh, for a common uh, defense and security policy uh, measures, but also a possibility for the future, which, uh, which I think is, is open now. Uh, to participate in uh, structural cooperation projects, not exactly in structural cooperation, but in projects related to uh, to common defense industrial uh, uh, activities. So, for example, Georgia together with uh, Poland or Czech Republic, uh, creating a kind of weapons, uh, for example, armored vehicles or something together. This is already possible uh, uh, theoretically. But I hope that practical development will follow also in this regard. So EU, uh, to my view, EU is already more interested to engage itself as a, as a defense actor also. Uh, and uh, I remember that in 2008, actually, EU was uh, uh, increased very much its uh, uh, CSDP. Um, uh, so I mean, uh, uh, its uh, meaning or its uh, power as a, as a security actor and the political actor because of uh, engaging in uh, 
uh, uh, ceasefire uh, in uh, in reaching ceasefire be between Russia and Russia and Georgia, and also this mediation EU's mediation increased its role in South Caucasus as a security actor. And in general, I think it it is strengthened you use uh, the security dimension as such and uh, also as a political actor strong uh, foreign policy actor in the world and now this is the momentum where this ukrainian war also even more increases he use uh, uh, internal stimulus to become a security actor uh, it's own uh, not just depending on nato which is nato is important and stays important but uh, but it becoming also itself a uh, security providing doctor. And in this regards, I think Georgia is a very important uh, country for EU, but also uh, this kind of relations with Azerbaijan and Armenia can, uh, can be uh, in the future increased. Uh, I think that uh, what is important that um, uh, with this war, of course, the Amanda mentioned already that uh, Georgia would have uh, not received, of course, the status of potential candidate and uh, uh, nor uh, Ukraine and Moldova. Uh, the, the slight change is that finally you recognize that Georgia is not only South Caucasian state. As far as EU consider this as a Troika, as a three associated, associated countries, but somehow uh, this enlargement, which now, uh, this enlargement package, which now includes uh, uh, Moldova, Ukraine, and Georgia already as a, as a part of the new enlargement package uh, means that uh, uh, Georgia also belongs in, in understanding in the use of uh, uh, great uh, geopolitical understanding or maybe uh, territorial uh, understanding, uh, um, original context. It, it, Georgia belongs also to the Black Sea region as such. Not only, but it, but it remains, of course, the South Caucasian state, very important. Uh, you also try to promote relations between the South Caucasian states, and this will remain as a priority to my view. Uh, but uh, for, uh, with enlargement, uh, I think uh, there was very, very strong move of European Union towards the region. It is not only about establishing itself in Georgia as an actor, uh, by involving Georgia in this enlargement process, but also new tasks of dealing closer with Azerbaijan and Armenia, which have no, at this moment, the ambition uh, to become members of the European Union. But in the same time, uh, uh, the, the, there are uh, new new possibilities open to engage with them. I think that in this regard, the, this uh, format of trilateral relations between uh, 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 Armenia, Azerbaijan, and Georgia. That, uh, to, to my view, it could uh, uh, could become a, uh, quite um, uh, quite possible. Uh, as far as we just established the trio two years ago, we established trio with Ukraine and Moldova, and we need to uh, to push it uh, forward. Uh, the trio can be established also between Armenia, Azerbaijan, and Georgia. Of course, there is need for Armenia and Azerbaijan to uh, uh, to set up and to go into into the uh, uh, into the next stage of uh, uh, of conflict uh, um, uh, resolution. Uh, but uh, uh, but still, tra even conflict transformation, for example, when the conflict transformation actually happens, these three countries may establish very good uh, format of cooperation, and the EU can participate here. As, a, as, a, as an actor, and we could have uh, all three together with you uh, many, many projects in common. And this is about development of East-West corridor, for example, South, uh, North-South corridors, and uh, many other uh, issues uh, that, that can uh, be uh, here actually uh, brought. And uh, last, maybe I will, I will tell about this uh, new, new, uh, needs also, which you has as an economic actor. To my view, uh, this uh, acceleration of the process of, for example, uh, uh, for example, such a project as uh, undersea uh, energy cable, uh, electric energy cable undersea under the Black Sea, which which come, which will take from Azerbaijan green energy, as it is intended to say. Uh, and the passage Georgia and they connects uh, the region. Uh, uh, this energy connection would be very important. Armenia, of course, can participate in the future also or benefit from this. Uh, and Armenia can sell its energy. There's a 
uh, it has um, uh, uh, for this quite uh, quite a potential to sell its electric energy through this cable also when when between armenia and azerbaijan the uh, the uh, relations of course uh, uh, soften and uh, uh, they become better um, thank, and, thank, thank you, thank you, Yes, 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 yes. I will, I will, I will stop here, and uh, we'll, we'll, we can, we can continue with other issues. Great, thank you very much. I'd like.